Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. The story continues a week later after I actually got, well, the thing stolen. It is what it is. You just deal with it, right? One solution after another. Not focusing on the problem. Well, that was page 20, and now I'm on page 50. So, in front of the Immigration Department here in Cambodia. But this video is going to be on paying it forward. My story behind paying it forward. We all have heard that term before, paying it forward. Well, basically what happened, when I had this mishap, and I was unable to get money from the Western Union because I didn't have my passport, as it was stolen from my purse, along with everything else. Um, so, as I was walking down the street after the Western Union, um, I have a couple, I have a lot of good stories. Random strangers just giving me money without me asking. Hearing my story, me not wanting to accept it, giving it back, but they insisting on me taking their money to help me, to feed me, to provide for me until I get money. Then I stopped at a luggage store, just kind of browsing around, figuring out, trying to look for another solution, talking to the man there, and then he gives me a $10 bill. That's right, in Cambodia, they basically have American money as well as Cambodian money. So he gives me a beautiful $10 bill which is a lot of money out here. It goes a long way in comparison to the America. I was very grateful, very grateful. Later on, a couple days later, I went back, bought something small from his shop, along with lots of gratitudes and love. Of course, when people give to me, I gave him a nice big hug. Now, he paid it forward to me. He helped me out. So then, after I received money the next day at Western Union because I had a police report, well, I took that $10 bill. That's right, the $10 bill as I got some money from Western Union. And when I was at the market, I paid it forward. And I gave it to the lady at the market who was sitting there, actually sleeping. I didn't realize at the time that she was sleeping and I paid it forward. I gave her a $10 bill. She was, um, well, looks like homeless and in a desperate place because she was sitting at the market with no money. So I paid it forward, $10 to her. He gave me $10, I gave it back to them, yes. Despite the fact that, yes, I was stolen from and I lost a lot of money in this whole fiasco, let's say. But I was okay with it because why? Everybody, everywhere I turned, people were trying to help me out. The Cambodians. A lot of the Cambodian people. You see, another idea that streamed to me, don't let one bad apple spoil the bunch. Just because that one isolated incident, I'm not going to let that depict my experience here. My beliefs about these people here in Cambodia nor the country. Now, the story continues. As I came yesterday to the General Department of Immigration, as you can see behind me, as I came here, all right, to take care of finished business in getting my passport, my new passport. I basically came in one person and I'm basically leaving another person, American Force passport. Yes, I got it. One week later and I'm getting everything situated. Puzzle is coming back together. So I'm here. A lady asked me why am I here because yes, you could tell I'm like the only American and or the non-Asian. No big deal. Told her what happened and sure enough, she gives me $10. Again, I didn't ask for anything. I wasn't looking for sympathy. She just asked me my story. And unfortunately, yes, I told her what happened at the temple, Anchor Wat. My purse got stolen along with everything in it. Paying it forward always taken care of, always thinking positive, always thinking positive in my spirit, in my mind, in my soul. Even though this mishap that I believe happened for a very specific, specific reason to change the direction, to change my compass and where I was going from one country now to a different country. As the last flight has been, well, not so much canceled, but it fell through. Okay? So, paying it forward, always giving back, always giving to people in their time of need. All right, I have people left and right, whether it be from Cambodia or Canadian helping me out as well. I never once asked, just thinking positive thoughts, knowing that I could handle this, I could take care of this. Always giving, always thinking positive, and guess what? Positive will come back to you one way or another. This changed my compass. Stay tuned for where I land next. With ancient healings around the world, painted forward. You can do it, I can do it. Staying positive, and let's say, mm, negative circumstances or a negative situation. But turning that aggravation and frustration into laughter, as I talked on my last video, turning aggravation into a comedy act, as I have been doing, shortly after the incident happened.
The book will be great when I release in several years with my travels. New techniques, new ways, transitioning. Let's say the negative, or as my motto goes, out of the darkness comes the light. Here in Cambodia, in front of, as you can see, the General Department of Immigration, I've got my passport. Like I said, I came in one person, leaving another. New beginnings, new awakenings, new transitions, evolving, changing. Always seeing the good in the world, no matter what happens to you. Always looking for the light at the end of the tunnel. Because we are light and we are love. All of us at our core, praying for the ones that need it most. Signing out, that's Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World.